Welcome to Netrunner Max Screencast, where we will check some of the unique features offered by Netrunner Trilens Second Edition. This time around, we'll see how to set up web accounts. So, we go to the corresponding icon and click it. And as you can see, we are prompted with all the different accounts supported from top to bottom. We get Google account, Facebook, and other cloud services. So we click on Google account, and this is KWallet. It's a service to store our passwords. Now we do want to use it, so we're going to click next. We tick yes. And now if we put a password here, then every time an application needs access to KWallet, we'll be required to write that password. So it's better to left these two spaces in blank. It's just we better that way. So we click finish. And we click allow always, but every time an application needs to access KWallet, that will be that will appear. So now we write our password and our username, of course, and this is my personal email address. And we click yes, next. I mean, now this will take us to Google, and we'll be asked to sign in. For some reason, it's taking a little bit longer than usual. There it is. Come on. There it is. Now we click sign in and we'll be asked to authorize to grant access to a Kennedy resources. So for some reason it appeared in Spanish, but just ignore that fact. Just granted access. So we click and grant access. And all of these are the services that we can sync with Netrunner. We can pick which ones we want to be synced. It's email, calendar, contacts, tasks, other. We want them all, so we click Finish. And now they are all syncing. Now KWallet will appear a thousand times. We just click Allow Always. Every time a dialog appears, and where is. Oh, just one more. That's okay. So. What does this mean? How does this help any kind of user? So I want to show you an example of how this can help the user. So I'm going to op I'm going to open um, telepathy. It's KDE's instant messaging application. And it's taking a little while. And here it is. And as you can see, um, these are my GTalk contacts just straight from the cloud. I didn't have to change or to select anything. I, they all just synced up automatically. Now, I'm going to show you something very, very cool. It's all happening in real time. So I click Add in this little plus icon. So we select Facebook. And then again, we write our, pass our email and our password. Here we are, and we click Next. Now, just like we did before, we will need to log in into Facebook. So it's just more convenient to select Keep Me Log In into KD Connector. So we just log in. And now these are the services that we can select to sync with Facebook chat and contact, so we click finish. And now since this is all happening in real time, if I'm lucky enough and a contact of mine, a friend of mine is connected, it will appear automatically. And yes. So I expand it. And as you can see, my friend is online. And this all happened automatically with no user intervention. But it isn't just about the context, right? I mean What's the big deal with that? I, I was just logged in into it. So I'm going to open another application. Um, where are you? Contact. Here it is. And now, for some reason, it's taking a little bit longer than usual to open, but that's OK. It will appear eventually. I hope. And here it is. So now I don't want to see this startup tips. So I click close. And as you can see, these are my contacts straight from Google. So 
here is uh, Danielle Mesa. It's my friend that is actually right now connected to Facebook, as you can see. And we get these um, little uh, barcodes, so we can scan them. And as you can see, there is his email and all the information I have about him, my Google account, including these barcodes. Like so. Now it's not only my Google contacts; it's also Facebook, and we can look for the same guy. Here it is, and as you can see, now we have a little bit more information because because of Facebook. So we can see his birthday, for example, how old is he, where he lives, etc. And this all syncs with uh, with the cloud. So if I made any if I make any modification to any contact Google contact, I cannot modify my um, Google con my Facebook contacts. Now we click in calendar, and as you can see my calendars are now synced so we can see Facebook events I happen to not be a particular fan of Facebook events so I have none but there's also my Google uh, uh, calendars and it's, this is my, my my calendar the Birch calendar and as you can see Google I.O. is coming and let's click month view so you can see all of the appointments that have been synced or all of the dates that have been synced so this is all straight from the cloud and as you can see Computex was a little while ago the E3, the YYDC, Google I.O. and this is a podcast I heard today, I really like it and this is all synced with the cloud, it all, it all happened automatically, I didn't have to do anything, so I'm going to show you something even cooler. I'm going to open my personal uh, calendar, I'm going to create an event. So I'm going to select the calendar, yeah, here we are, and I happen to be a fan of NASA, so I'm, I'm, I don't remember the exact date, I think it's August uh, 8, 8, yes 8 I think, so I'm going to click it. And this day is, is Curiosity's landing. It's a spacecraft. So we're going to just create a very simple event. And I'm going to click, um, yeah, just like it. I'm going to click Apply. OK, I mean. So now this syncs with the cloud. So as we can see, the event has been created locally. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm pressing. Uh, oh, yeah, that that's OK. So uh, August 8, here it is. As you can see, it's Curiosity's landing. Now, since this is all syncing with the web, I'm going to take my smartphone, and you'll see how it synced. So this is my home screen. And if I go to the People app first, I'm going to look for the same contact we were looking at seconds ago and here it is and as we can see the same birthday the same email address everything we were just seeing a second ago now I'm going to go back to the home screen and now I'm going to my calendar application and as you can see August 8 we have Curiosity's landing it's all happening in real time all synced with the cloud so this is our first ever long screencast and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.